brothers and sisters, today we are celebrating the Lord's Supper Mass, which is the Holy Thursday Mass. And on this day, we commemorate when Jesus instituted the sacraments of Holy Orders and the sacrament of the Eucharist, which makes it a very important day in the church, a very important in the universal church. In the first reading today, we hear about the Passover feast. That is where the children of Israel uh, were moving from slavery in Egypt to freedom. In the Gospel, we also hear Jesus celebrating the Lord's Supper with his disciples. It was also a movement from the slavery of sin to freedom as children of God. In the first reading, we hear the lamb that was slaughtered in Egypt and the blood was smeared, was smeared on the lintel, on the doorpost, that the children of Israel may be spared by the angel of the Lord when they struck the firstborn. In the gospel, we hear about the blood of Jesus Christ that will be shed on the cross so that me and you may be able to survive death, that may be able to be saved. And why is this day very important? This day is very important because the Eucharist makes a church. And a church without the body of the Eucharist, he cannot qualify to be called a church. That one, can, that one qualifies to be called an ecclesial community. And that's why the Catholic Church must be proud that Christ left us the inheritance of the Holy Eucharist uh, among other things he left us. The, uh, the sacrament that, uh, that Christ instituted uh, today make Jesus present in the forest in the, uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the church. We know that Christ is ever present in his church in four ways. He is present in the Word of God. Christ is present where two or three are, and, uh, two or three are gathered. And Christ is also present in the person of the priest. And this is the Holy Word that we are celebrating today. And Christ is more present, is fully present in the sacrament of the Eucharist. And that is the sacrament that we are celebrating today uh, uh, on the Lord's Supper. On this day, Jesus decided to cleanse our bodies of the sin of Adam. And if you remember that the sin of Adam, they ate the forbidden fruit and died. For Christ to save us, he had to give us his body, that we may be able to eat his body, to drink his blood, that we may have life, uh, eternal life. Since the sin of Adam brought death by eating the forbidden fruit, now we must eat the body and blood of Christ so that we may be able to receive eternal life. And the gospel today tells us of the greatest love that Jesus had for his disciples, that he loved them up to the end. And his love was manifested in humility, that Christ was able to strip himself of the dignity of God, uh, bent down and washed his disciples' feet. What an act of humility that he might suppose all of us in the church can you be humble as our master is humble. And he told his disciples, have you seen me, the master, not have done, that you ought to be the same. Therefore, we are all invited to always participate in the service, especially of the less fortunate people. The institution of the Eucharist and Holy Orders is one of the best things that God ever gave the church. Because the Eucharist uh, is the food, is our spiritual food, and the food that nourishes us, our spirit. Uh, compared to the, uh, the manna that our ancestors ate in the day that they died, the Eucharist gives us eternal life. The Eucharist is important for our bodies and helps our bodies to resurrect at the end of time. When you read the Gospel of John chapter 6, John tells us, that whoever eats my body and drinks my blood uh, is near and I live, and I will raise him on the last day. That the Eucharist is be important for us at the resurrection. And that's why we are happy that we are celebrating the Lord's Supper today. Whenever the priest gives anointing of the sick, it is always accompanied with the Eucharist. And the Eucharist will always refer it as food for the journey of Yatkum. That this person who is transiting, who is on the journey from uh, this earthly life to eternal life, may be able to move with this food on the way to help him reach eternal life. And you can see how important that is this sacrament, the sacrament of the Holy Order and the sacrament of the Eucharist uh, are. Whenever we are celebrating the Eucharist, we remember exactly what happened on the, uh, on the Holy Thursday when the Christ was with the disciples. And some of the mystics that God gave oh, extra uh, grace that they were able to see what happened, they have given us uh, confirmation that at the words of the institution, Christ himself comes and is able to say these words and he says them on the Lord's Supper. And that which makes this sacrament a very important sacrament because Christ comes himself to say these words. Uh, in the celebration of the Eucharist, they were celebrating today and remembering the Lord's Supper. 
uh, we see that the church on earth, which is the pilgrim church, during the suffering church, and the church in heaven, that are that come, that it is only in the Holy Mass and what we celebrate, that the three churches, the pilgrim church, the suffering church, and the drama church, are all united together. Because at, at Holy Mass, we invite the saints and also doing the suffering church. And they are giving us the most uh, meaning of the, of the celebration of the Eucharist. In the celebration of the Eucharist, uh, of the sacrament of the Eucharist, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are united together, especially at the altar, the of consecration, to transform the bread and wine be the most holy uh, body and blood of Christ. That's why that one holy mass a person celebrates yeah, where he is living is more than a thousand they will, they will celebrate when the person has died. What does it mean? It, it means we are all encouraging that at every day, if possible, every Sunday we attend Holy Mass because this Holy Mass is very important for uh, our life here and life uh, uh, to come. Therefore, my brother, my sister, the question is, if you don't receive the Eucharist, do you see how what you are missing? Why, uh, how you don't have the life uh, of Christ in you. St. Augustine told us that you eat, you become what you eat. When you eat Christ, you become Christ-like. Now, when if you don't eat Christ, what do you have? Some people are already spiritually uh, uh, marinated. All of us must uh, fight it to make sure that we move all the stumbling block, that we participate in the celebration of the Eucharist, that Christ lives in the church. So we want to pray today as we are praying for all of you who are receiving the Eucharist, that you may be able to receive the Eucharist worthy and that the Eucharist may be able to bring healing for us because this uh, helps us uh, healing both physically and spiritually. The Lord be with you.